What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon White 2 walkthrough. Okay, so did you guys miss me? I'm pretty sure you guys did. So anywho, in our last episode, we won our very first badge. Yes, we beat our old rival, Charon, for the basic badge. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this. Look at that. That's right. One badge heavier than last time. So, and well, now it is time for us to move on right here. Uh, we've already uh, healed up our Pokemon, got everything ready to go. Now it's time for us to get into the next town, city, whatever it is. Because, well, you know, it, that, that's how we roll right here. So let's see, going into Route 19, going into everything else right here. We're still in the summer and it's pretty dang hot. And uh, well... I don't, I don't really have a lot of stuff to say right here, except for I'm excited to go to the next town. And look at that. Yes, we're crossing everywhere we go. And before we leave anywhere, Bianca stops us and she's like, Hey, I'm sorry. I forgot to upgrade your Pokedex that I gave you. I'm going to add the habitat list. It's an amazing feature. I'm just going to throw borrow your Pokedex for a second. And well, just like that, we get our uh, Pokédex uh, updated with the heavy uh, the habitat list. You can check which Pokémon are in the area. It's a mode in the Pokédex. To use it, open up your Pokédex and tap the habitat list button on the lower left of the touchscreen. Next, pick your area you want to see. You can see all the Pokémon that live in that area. It even tells you which ones you've already caught. Would you like to hear the explanation again? Heck no. Uh-uh. And well, she's like, I have a tip for you. When you're walking down a path, you'll sometimes see rustling grass. If you go to that spot, well, it'll, uh, I'll let the, the rest be a surprise. And well, filling up the Pokedex will be a, a world bigger, so go to many different places and meet many different Pokemon, okay? See you! Ah, Bianca. She's always so fun. She's always so nice. So here we are in Route 20, and uh, well... <sighs> It is time for us to move on right here. Now, here is the big old uh, hiker man that did not let us through the last time. Now, let's see. Do I have my Pokemon all healed up and ready to go? Yes, I did say that. And, well, let's go ahead and go straight to this guy. And he's like, hey, that gleaming thing there is a basic badge. But don't get swelled. Uh, get, a, get a swelled head. It's a rough world out there. Here, I'll show you. Okay. Just bring it. Okay, so here we go. We're taking on Hiker Jerome and... He is going to be coming out with a Riolu. Yes, a Pokemon that I really wanted to capture uh, for this walkthrough right here. But I kind of decided against it and all that crud. And, well, here comes that quick attack right here. And look at this. Water Gun nearly takes him out. So let's finish him off one last time after he hits us with another quick attack. Look at that. Yes, sir. Say goodbye to Riolu. And more experience points for all of us. And he's like... Why was I so conceited to think I could uh, beat you? Hmm. Well, all right, I'm beat. With the pinnable Pokemon like that, even a kid like you can hold you, uh, your own against an adult. Yep. Okay, so uh, yes, he has moved out of the way. We shall pass. And well, we're gonna be taking on some more trainers right here. Now, many of you guys have asked, uh, am I going to capture any other Pokemon, especially in the Flossessi Ranch? Well, that was the plan. But then plans change, guys. It really did. So, we're going to be moving on and battling our Pokemon, getting things done. Because uh, a little bit farther ahead, yes, there will be some Pokemon capturing. I got, I got two Pokemon in mind. Two very awesome Pokemon. But as of right now, let's go right ahead and use Ace. Yes, the Wonder Dog right here. And, well, there's that Tail Whip. Doesn't really uh, affect as much, but hopefully... This guy doesn't hit us with any anything physical, and well, it flinched, so here we go. One more free turn for the win, and Psyduck has been defeated. And uh, yes, we get more experience points. Yes, yes, we get more experience points. Okay, so we're getting called out. Driven, wait! And just like that, our two rivals, Charon and you are here. Come with me, you two. Okay, what's up, man? See the dark, uh, tall grass here? It's rare, but sometimes two Pokemon pop out at the same time. Also, the Pokemon that hide in dark grass are slightly stronger, so be careful if you walk through. If you're going to challenge the next gym, it's the Verbeck gym. These might help. And we get ourselves some Pekka Berries. Pecha Pekka Pekka Berries. I don't even know what to say. And here are some for you too, Hugh. The both of you do your best. If you need anything, call me on the cross transceiver. Okay. All right. Charon sure knows a lot. 
And he fought those team uh, plasma thugs too. I've decided I'm going to get stronger than him. You should do your best, fill up that Pokedex and have it ha and have my back. Got it? Okay. So have your back. And there is a Pokeball right there. Now, luckily for me, I did buy myself quite a few repels. That way, we don't get attacked by any of these Pokemon right here. Look at that. Okay, repels. You gotta love them. Because, uh, well, you don't want to get messed with any of these Pokemon. And look at this. We got ourselves a Great Ball, which is nice. And we're going to be getting attacked by another trainer right here. So let's go right ahead and, well, battle this Pokemon trainer. Hi there! Look at my awesome Pokemon. Okay, time to show you the awesome Pokemon, and here we have a Lillipup going up against my ace. Yes. Okay, alrighty. Bring it. Just bring it. Let's go straight for a bite attack. Yes, we are faster. And, well, it's gonna be a biting fast right here. Holy crud. Alrighty. Bite. And yes, Lillipup has been defeated, and more experience points for all of us. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and grab this uh, item right here. Look at that. We got ourselves an antidote, which is always nice. And, well, there's more trainers along the way, so let's go ahead and grab this. A dire hit, which actually raises up your critical hit uh, ratio. And, well, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon Ace. Let's go straight to Sire of the Torrent. And, well, let's go right down right here and see what this trainer has. I always give my best, uh, or my best when I'm around with kids and Pokemon. Okay, so let's go right ahead and take on Nursery Aid Kimia. And she will be coming out with a Dunsparce. Now, we've heard the, the complaints before, guys. Dunsparce is a Pokemon that needs an evolution like ASAP. And at this point right here, Dunsparce is a very, very strong Pokemon uh, with high defenses, good HP, and all that crud. I mean, I almost caught one in Pokemon Crystal. That should say something, but like. It needs an evolution, a pretty darn good evolution, to make it, like, even more powerful. Because we, we, we all know Dunsparce, yeah, it's 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 a star in the making, and, well, there's a big hit right there. So, let's go again, one more water gun attack. And uh, nearly defeat this guy. Yes, Dunsparce is not going down too easily with a critical hit. Let's go straight for a tackle attack. And there goes Dunsparce. Holy crud, that took a lot. And that's a lot of HP, by the way. And, well, that right there. Okay, so we got to heal up our Pokemon because I, I, I do remember seeing a double battle right there. So let's go ahead and do this. One more and one more to Ace. And, well, let's go right ahead and uh, take care of business right here. Okay, let's see what we got. Two Pokemon. Strong and strong come together to, to become very strong. Um, one plus one isn't three. Well, she ain't, she, she ain't lying. It's not three, but... Well, let's see what happens right here. And, well, we're going to be taking on some Songkern. That is a problem for my Pokemon right here because, well, it is a water-type Pokemon. But we do have other moves right here. So let's go ahead and... Well, let's let's gang up on one on one Songkern and then get the other one right there. And look at that. Songkern has been defeated. Holy crud, that was easy. And, wow. Oh my god. Okay, so the one that survived gets a little bit of HP just by draining me. And, well, let's see. Let's go straight for a tackle attack and a critical hit bite attack. Look at this. There we go. Say goodbye. I am happy. Okay, and Ace grows to level 14, which is always good. <laughs> Okay, so that is that. Let's go right ahead and move on right here. So here we are in another area and talk to this lady. When we want grass rustles and it's a Pokemon hide and seek, which is true. Do you know of uh, or do you know about Audino, the Pokemon who hide in rustling grass? I wonder why Audino give other Pokemon so many experience points, which is great, guys. It's actually true. If you if you take on Audino, they will give you nothing but a t uh, a buttload of a HP or ex experience points. Now, this person right here stops us. She's like, oh, you. You are with two Pokemon. But if you have more Pokemon, your journey should be even more fun. Here, I'll give you these. So why don't you catch more Pokemon? And uh, yes, we get ourselves some more Great Balls, which is great. You know that uh, what we say, cheerful company shortens the miles. 
That's a that's a good saying right there. That's a very very good saying. So here we are, guys, in Verbank City, and just like that, we're getting a call on the cross transceiver, and well, it is our mama, and she's like, "Hi, it's your mom. Where are you right now?" Wow, Verbank City. There's a complex there, right? Have you uh, have you been there yet? The way it looks at night is, is really quite nice, and you should also train your Pokemon there. You know, your Pokemon can uh, do some things that you uh, you can do with uh, others. I hope you can uh, all work together and accomplish amazing things. And like that, we're like, okay, mom, whatever. And uh, no, we're not gonna use another repel. But here we are in Verbank City, the city uh, the city of falling fog and rising stars. Hmm. And well, would you look at this? Roxy, don't try and stop me. I'm off to the Pokestar Studios to live up to my true potential. My dream is to ship, uh, to be a ship captain and a movie star. Get real, you're a captain already, aren't you? If you, if that shit do doesn't move, you're going to cause a lot of trouble. Oh dear daughter, you split your uh, time between your responsibilities, gym leader, and uh, with your band, right? I could do that too. Ah, uh, well, there's if you can split up your time and yeah and well as you can see Roxy's like ah you didn't want a dense dumb daft dippy dorky doltis doofus doing double duty isn't it the problem you're causing problems for people keeping people from getting where they are going uh, because of your of sheer selfishness is unforgivable I've had it I'm going to the gym that is not a bad idea I should probably go to the gym myself too okay so, yes, I know many of you guys don't like this, short episodes, but this is just the beginning of the week. Trust me, guys, there's going to be longer episodes. So, uh, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for having the patience. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Y2 walkthrough. See you guys.